As the Russian military operation enters its 11th day, the situation on the field is advancing as power continues to be the dominant language of the conflict on the Ukrainian territories. Russia has resumed its operations on the strategic port city of Mariupol after a temporary ceasefire failed with allegations of violations by both sides. Russian military is repeatedly targeting military infrastructure of Ukraine as a part of the plan to their military operation. Dear comrades, I want to say that the special military operation is proceeding strictly according to schedule, according to plan. All set goals are successfully achieved. Analysts say Russia is currently preparing the ground in Ukraine's cities by trying to raise as much infrastructure as possible by air in order to make the ground advancement to the capital Kiev easier for its ground forces, which are massively stepping forward to Ukraine's main city. The Russians keep bearing devastating losses on the ground, and I cannot understand how mothers, wives and daughters of these Russian soldiers bear this pain seeing how President Putin sends more and more of their beloved ones to Ukraine. Russia is also attempting to cut off resources to key cities. In Mariupol, the city of more than 400,000 people, water, heat and electricity have been shut off for days throughout a ferocious Russian bombardment campaign. According to military analysts, these military operations are likely to be stepped up from early days of the conflict, when Russia likely did not use these higher-scale artillery fires and airstrikes and those sorts of assets because they expected a quick victory, which hasn't occurred, and didn't want the portrayal in international and domestic Russian media of destroying Ukrainian cities.